Today, while the nation has been focused on the final six primaries across the nation, final six state primaries across the nation, something extraordinary unfolded here on the floor of the Senate. Just a short time ago, the U.S. Senate took the final congressional act to send the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety for the 21st Century Act to the president's desk. This is landmark legislation that honors the legacy of our dear colleague, Frank Lautenberg. This is landmark legislation that will make a real difference for the health and safety of every American. This is the first significant environmental legislation to be enacted by this chamber in 25 years. This bill, this extraordinary bill, brought Democrats and Republicans together to take action to protect public health. I've been honored to be a part of this coalition as we've worked toward a final bill for over a year. It hasn't been easy, but then things worth doing are rarely easy. For too long, we have been unable to protect our citizens from toxic chemicals that hurt pregnant women and young children, chemicals that hurt our children's development, chemicals that cause cancer. The Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety for the 21st Century Act will tremendously improve how we regulate toxic chemicals in the United States, those that are already in products and should no longer be used, and those new chemicals that are invented that should be thoroughly examined before they end up in products. Now the Environmental Protection Agency will have the tools and resources needed to evaluate the dangerous chemicals and to eliminate any unsafe uses. My introduction to this issue began with a bill in the Oregon State Legislature about the cancer causing flame retardants that are in our carpets and our couches and the foam in our furniture that shouldn't be there. This bill gives us the ability to review that and to get rid of those toxic chemicals. It was enormously disturbing to me to find out that our little babies crawling on the carpet, their noses one inch off the ground, were breathing in the dust from the carpet that included these cancer-causing flame retardants. Should never have happened, but we didn't have the type of review process to protect Americans. And now we will. So together, a bipartisan team has run a marathon together, and today we cross the finish line. And in short order, this bill will be sitting in the Oval Office on the President's desk, and he'll be putting ink to paper and creating this new and powerful tool for protecting the health of American citizens. That is an enormous accomplishment.